Hello and welcome to the Region Airs. This is the quiz show that's so hard that it goes out in winter wearing only its underpants. <laughs> My name's Simon Donald and tonight we have two teams will be facing five rounds of questions and they're all about the region. Joining team captain Catboy is Tracy Wilkinson. Tracy played a warder in ITV's Bad Girls, a show set in a women's prison. Tracy had to stop the girls who were banged up in jail from being banged up in the showers. <laughs> And sitting with Team Captain Gavin Webster tonight is radio DJ Mike Elliott, affectionately known as Mike the Mouth. Mike once got fired by a radio station for apparently being drunk on air. Obviously that's impossible, you can't get drunk on air, although you can get completely pissed on Mike's breath. <laughs> In our first round, the teams are going to face three questions, and the answer should lead them to a famous Northeast person. So there's four points to play for. We're going to start with Catboy and Tracy. Uh, can you tell me what does very posh shop Betty's sell? Ooh, God. Betty. Betty's? Betty's pork pies? Um, um, and Betty's oh, I know, cakes. Do you reckon? That's Betty's in York. Is it? South. It's not I'm South thinking Sadie it. the bra lady me. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's where I got my trainer from. <laughs> yeah, we'll say what? Posh cake. cakes. Posh cakes. Mm. I'm sure they do. I'm sure tea. they do. Posh cakes and tea. And tea. tea. Oh, that's that's they've got one in Harrogate and various others as well, but tea is the answer that we're looking for, so you get one point for that. Cakes. Which gives what, on you a second a attempt. You can't say posh cakes and then and tea. Yeah, but when yeah, I went in, <laughs> you say like, uh, oh, it's, it's a massage cake. parlor, but the bit of tea as well. You know, <laughs> that is actually a second answer. But you know, you, you know. There's only one know. answer to that, which is that I'm the quiz master and you get the point. <laughs> Thank you. There. What's on top of the hill that the Lambton Worm wrapped itself around? Lambton Worm. The Lambton Worm. Oh God, he's bad. Warm. <laughs> The last oh, day in English. I was being regional. I'm not Pencha from... Hill. It's a big mm. monument. Is that what it is? Big, big, big monument. monument. You're going to say Pencha Monument? You're, you're very right. Whose constituency is Sedgefield? Oh, Tony yeah. Blair, sure. Well, of course. Yep, the big man, Tony Blair. Tony Blair. And he is? Prime Minister. Prime Minister, okay. Well, being friend that was a bit mild, wasn't it? Ten down in <laughs> So when he said Tony Blair and he is, that was a great opportunity, wasn't it? <laughs> and he just said the Prime Minister. Yeah, but you're on that list of words that I'm not allowed to say. Um, what do those three give you? We're looking for the name oh, of a right. famous northeast person. Mm. I've got an idea. Well, good, because I've not. See, we've got tea up there. Aye. Monument. And I'm down then, straight. Yeah. First two is giving me grey. We've got Earl Grey tea. Uh, We've got Grey's Monument. Whoa, I'd go for Did that. Did that black door used to be grey? Were it, before, were it undercoated? <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. I'm but sure it was. It's not, right, it's not the right connection, but I think uh, it would <laughs> be yeah, idea. wise to place a bet at this time. Mm. Do you want to have a guess? We're not so um, good. No, nah, I'll have to go with the Earl Grey thing. Yeah, whoever he is. Earl Grey. <laughs> you couldn't get the Downing Street one, but you're right, it is. Yeah. Charles, Charles Earl Grey, Grey's monument dweller, Earl Grey, was a British Prime Minister, which is where the Downing Street ah. comes from. He's famed for political reform, abolishing the slave trade, and tea tasting of piss. <laughs> <laughs> the Pensher Monument is a scaled-down copy of the Parthenon in Greece. Newcastle Arena is built on exactly the same principle, but is a scaled-up replica of a flat-pack garage from B&Q. <laughs> 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 Gavin and Mike, let's move on to you. <coughs> Where was scratchy-haired Laurel and Hardy funny man, Stan Laurel, baptised for the second time? Was he, was he baptised, uh, what, uh, the time? He was, he was, <laughs> he was baptised twice, um, presumably originally. Where, time, where? He, well, he was born in Ulverston, but that... Yeah, it would be, uh, it's probably where he lived, which, I th uh, it's one of the Shields, I'm not sure which one was Lived it? in North Shields. North Shields, ah. yeah. Doctor Square. Are you going to stick with uh, North I think Shields? we'll go with that. Well, I think the, the, the time. I think he was dropped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was, he Them was stairs he, comes down. Yeah. Uh, time. Picked him up. He went down there in the time he came out with a hot car. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, insurance job. <laughs> are you a stick? What are no, you saying? Uh, Rematine uh, or North Shields? North Shields, I reckon. North Shields. Well, I'm going to be cutting them. North Shields, eh? Uh. Right, I'm going to pass it over. It's not North Shields. Oh, sorry, but I mean. Oh, God. I was baptised for the second time. We can go for South Shields. Or is he from somewhere different? He's from Ulverston. He had, he had, a, he had a connection with, with this Life. town. His, I think his family had a theatre in this town, possibly. Ah. Okay, if you can't put a guess nah. in, we're just going to write. Okay, it's Bishop Auckland. Really? Uh. So the visual clue that you're going to get from that question bishop. is a bishop. Oh, okay, right. um, <laughs> Gavin Mike, second question. Durham Cathedral recently housed a contemporary immaculate glass sculpture of whom? Do I should they say immaculate? I don't, I don't know. The immaculate conception. Yeah, yeah. Which, um, well, you, you're that getting was there. The, yeah, getting that, there. that was where yeah, Joseph well. had sex, but, you know, Did very, very. Decently, immaculately, <laughs> without, any, without any form of punishment. We need an answer. Like we, need an answer. we need an answer. Come on. Well, I'd say it's the Virgin Mary. It is the Virgin Mary. You're right. Well done, mate. Saint Mary is your clue. It, here's your third Saint question. Mary. In 1969, Rodney Bewes had a short-lived TV collaboration. Name his partner. It's not Jimmy Paul. I'm obviously. No, it's not. It's, it's a short-lived one, isn't it? Short-lived. Um, short-lived. Jimmy Neal, maybe. Let's uh, let's move you on with a clue, Foxy partner. Oh, not, not, Were you, um, you fat for a drink, or was it, um... <laughs> they said I was drunk on air. I, I was stoned, actually. Oh, <laughs> And I resent, I resent the aspersion. Whilst you have a little chance, can we later. pass it over to the other side? <laughs> can we hear that clue again? Hang on, we, we... What, well, are you going to give me an answer? Yeah, come on, that's what, yeah. That's it was, it was, Foxy. Uh, Foxy. Uh, Basil, Basil Brush. That's right. <laughs> Basil Brush is the right answer. Excellent. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Can you now put those three together to make one famous northeastern person? Uh, person. person. Well, Basil Brush obviously had sex with St Mary and the very young bishop was born. <laughs> um, Basil, well, he's a, it was, everybody called Fox. Uh, not Get it quickly, because I don't want to say that word much, many times on this programme. <laughs> <laughs> OK, you're moving Otherwise in the wrong, moving just in the wrong direction. Go. Quick guess or we'll move no, it come on. on. We've got plenty of time, man. Well, they're, they're Basil Brush. <laughs> right, St. Mary. Cat Boys, team. St. Mary's Can you put a guess in? Basil. Let's focus on the Basil oh, rather than Basil. Basil. Uh, Hume. Basil, the uh, Prime Minister. They are especially Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Basil, uh, Basil uh, Cardinal Basil Hume. I'll give that point to Mike. I just said he's our turn. I just said it. I said it before him. Go to the audience. Who no, said that? Did I say Hume? Right, one each. <laughs> Cardinal Basil, Basil, Basil Hume. Hume. Our very own Queen of England, the Queen, unveiled his statue beside St Mary's Cathedral in Newcastle. The ceremony was briefly interrupted by Bryn Reid, who unveiled his own bishop as he ran in front of the Queen's car naked. <laughs> When Stan Laurel was christened for the second time, his dad said, this is another fine mass you've gotten us into. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for the part in the show where we stick our thumbs up and try to hitchhike away. It's Reed on the Road with Arthur Two Stroke. Salve, Regionaires. Or should I say, Roman Regionaires. Well, today I'm near Segi Dunham at Wall's End. Hadrian's Wall was built to keep the Scots out, when an entrance fee probably would have done the trick. <laughs> but look at it. It's such a mess. It must have been built on the cheap. So today, Regionaires, I'm going to ask Wall's Enders whether they've ever had any trouble with cowboy builders. So there you have it. Is shoddy workmanship still a problem in Wall's End today? Maybe a plumber has been a washer out or someone's electrician has made them blow a fuse. Out of eight people asked, how many Walls Enders have had a cowboy builder? Catboy. What do you reckon? <laughs> cowboy builder. <laughs> yourself. How many builders have you had? <laughs> <laughs> Since you got here. Counting um, <laughs> um, Oh, God, eight. Out of eight? <laughs> is he out of eight? It is out of eight, yes. That might be a bit high. He plays odds, he's just going to say 75. <laughs> <laughs> right, six. Yeah, six. I'll try six. six. You're going to say six? I'll mm -hmm. say six. Okay. Five, we'll Gavin and Mike. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's not that many <laughs> people in Wars End can count the eight for start. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think we've got to approach it from yeah, that's right, yeah. invert logic. <laughs> That's why they can't use the metric system in the shipyards in Wall's End, because the, the concept of ten is right. beyond them. Uh,
Can we have an answer? <laughs> 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 Three uh, pounds of like Catboy and Tracy's team I think we're going for five. Yeah, five, that's five. Uh, logical. OK, five plays six. Let's see what the answer is. Have you ever had any trouble with cowboy builders? Me personally, no. But... No. Yes. No, n not at all. Belonging to the pensioners movement, as I do, <laughs> we've heard complaints from pensioners. No. No, not personally, me, no. Because the pensioners are not looking for a cut price. They look for a fair price. No, I haven't. <laughs> you used to be a singer, didn't you? And people can, I have the number with me, but we have a telephone number that they can ring. Have you ever had any trouble with cowboy builders? Right? Yes, definitely. And we will be putting that phone number up at the end of the program for any of you pensions who want to get some vetted builders. So, only two said they'd had problems with cowboy builders, which gives Gavin's team the point for being closest. As we go into the break, that phone number is 0191 257 7189 for the handy person scheme. See you after the break. <laughs> Next up, it's our secret guest, Mr. X, on our Mr. Region round. Uh, he's more of a mystery, this man, than the Loch Ness Charver. Our teams, <laughs> our teams have to answer who he is by asking questions with only yes or no answers. Gavin and Mike, you start. Hello. Hello. Um, you're not allowed to say hello, you're only allowed to say yes or no. <laughs> oh, yeah, because that's giving it away, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, sorry, Mr. X. Just. Isn't a male dominated occupation that you do or are required to do by the uh, organization you work for? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, sorry. Back to you, Gav. Uh, Talk to you. Huh? Um, have you ever been in court? No. Uh, Not that burglar, then. It's like the water. <laughs> he looks a bit like Ask him if he's a screw. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you um, manhandle blokes during the week? <laughs> no, you know, like, that's what screws do. Not if we, not if we can help it. Uh, no. uh, okay. Yes or no? No. Uh, Jay, so, uh, you didn't it. mess with saying he's Judge Bloody Dread on this show. You know what I mean? Ooh. Would you like, Mr. X? Are you called Mr. X because you won the pools? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're sat here if I did. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> that wasn't a yes or no answer, but it was bloody it was good. good. Was good. <laughs> Come on, let, do you, would you like a clue? Uh, we'll have a clue. No, he's going to give us a clue. Oh, he's going to give us another clue. Go on then, we'll have Mr. a clue. Mr. X does not do the thing that he does in winds over 35 miles per hour. It's got to be. Do you reckon it's uh, that? I think it could be. Do you have anything to do with things that cross rivers? I do, yes. Yeah. Right, we're, uh, we're ready for a guess, I think, over this side. Aye. Uh -huh. We think he does uh, Shields Ferry. No, man. No, he's at operates. Oh, no. Do you operate the Shields no. Ferry? No. Oh, shit. Mr. X does not go operate for the it. Shields go Ferry. Go for it. Go for it. Right, but judging by the accent being of a more, um, you know, further south, maybe maybe Cleveland accent, perhaps, do you, do you operate the TSA Transporter Bridge? Yes, yes, ah. I do. Yes, he yes. does. Yes. <laughs> Our mystery guest is Ray Bran Brannan, who does indeed operate Middlesbrough's transporter bridge. In one shift, Ray will travel from Port Clarence to Middlesbrough 36 times. One of the perks of the job is that Ray gets to leave Middlesbrough 36 times a day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Ray Brannan, for coming on. Very on good. now with the second part of Reach on the Road with Arthur Two-Stroke. Where else has Arthur been today? With a hey nonny no and a foldery old doll. Hi, Regionaires. I'm in Billingham, home of the International Folk Festival. So I'm going to try a little bit of busking on the side. 
It's a bit like being on the fiddle, except with a guitar. I'll play to passers-by, or until I get arrested. Back to you. So, there you have it. How much will Arthur raise from his busking? From nothing to five pounds. Will his jig go really well, or will he just be folking useless? <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go first this time? Yeah, Shall you we? go first this time. <laughs> what do you reckon? Uh, from naught to five pounds. I've actually, I heard him play guitar not long ago. <laughs> And he's absolutely crap, so <laughs> I can't see him getting too much. Uh, what do you reckon? £1.70. And it's Billingham. And it's Billingham. Um, yeah, we'll go just shy of two quid. We'll say £1.70. One, what, 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 you're going to say? £1.70. Yeah. Gonna, Is that what, that's what he's going to get. £1.70? Yeah. Happy with that? Well, Both happy with that? You're looking doubtful. Shall we, are you thinking up or down? I'm not, I'm not allowed to... Um, well, just look up or down. <laughs> All right, we'll go, uh, I'm thinking three pounds thirty. What? Out of fiver. <clears throat> Out of fiver. Cutboy. And you say he's crap. Down. Way down. Fifty four p. Yeah, what's that? Just not ten p. <laughs> Twelve p. <laughs> Let's not get daft. Fifty four p. Okay, fifty four p. What was the original question? I've lost it. Now. <laughs> <laughs> How much, How much paid? money <laughs> will Arthur make on the streets of Billingham by playing to passers-by? Can you, or can, honestly, will he get can arrested? Just this That's just to frighten the pensioners in the audience, thinking the warden's coming. <laughs> 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 right, no, fifth, sorry, 54, was it? Uh, They've gone that's, for that's 54 That's a close one, because we were thinking think something that. of that order as well. Not too much. I mean, so if you took out four pound fifty in billing and people think you're a sissy, you were paying the rent. <laughs> so you'd be you'd be mugged there. That'd I mean, be the annual rent. But that it? area, I know that area. <laughs> oh, the annual. I poor tax as well. I think that area you'd be lucky to get. I think twenty six pence. Yeah, he will go for twenty six. You're going to go for twenty six pence. Yeah, with make the acon. Too <laughs> right. Let's see how Arthur got on as a busker who's not only hungry but also hopeless. <laughs> okay, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Can you remember the 60s? Oh, yeah. Got any requests? Do you believe in folk music? Well, uh, sort of. Heavy metal as well, you know. Am I being arrested? No, I'm giving it Are to you. Back. Oh, I'm, I'm, please arrest me. Arrest I'm exactly handcuffed, sorry. Take me away because I've been busking here for an hour and, and I'm only going to busk until I, I've earned some money or I've been arrested. <laughs> Christened in a teapot and drowned no. in a shower. I want it. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm going to cry. So I'm moving you along now, then? Aye, go on, then. Uh, Come on, then. It's a fair cop. It's a fair cop. Oh, uh, yeah, I've been at. It's You're a fair cop. What, uh, what more can I do? I've been done. Have you been drinking? OK, let's have a look. <laughs> Not bad. 5p. <laughs> 5p, possibly a little more than he deserved, perhaps. <laughs> right, who won game. that round? Oh, no. Before I forget. 26p. You were the closest. It's an embarrassing. So, it's embarrassing. Gavin's, Gavin's team taking the point on that round. OK, as we move into Nether Region, which is the quick-fire round, so-called, because it's the arse end of the show, as we like to say. <laughs> OK, are you ready? Fingers on the buzzers. The sound of the hooter will mark the end of the show. OK, Bede called it ad cap ray kaput. We call it depressing. What is it? Sunderland. Pass it over. <laughs> Dish. Sorry. <laughs> okay, the answer is Gate said. Drunkenness at race meetings on Newcastle Town Moor led to the setting up of which alcohol free annual event? Uh, it doesn't exist in the northeastern alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that would be on the X Files, wouldn't it? Great North Run. It's the Hoppings. Where was the poet Lord Byron married in 1815? Back to church, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're back to the church. Uh, no. uh, he, was, he had a do in Dobson's. In, uh, <laughs> uh, have you got a serious offer for no, a pass No, I'm just trying to have a laugh. 
Durham Cathedral. Durham Cathedral. It was Seaham. Hadrian's yeah. Wall begins in Solway. Where does it end? Second, second, and then, then, then. <laughs> second, and then, then. Uh, which is in Wall's End. Wall's End. Ah. Which is in Wall's End. Second is actually in no Wall's End, so one. technically. What fizzy drink was invented in South Shields? Eh, uh, I don't know. Then. Oh. So come on. What do you press the buzzer for? <laughs> 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 yeah. Is it Tizer? Uh, is it Tizer? It was Lucas A. Born in Northumberland. <laughs> Who has seen World Cup success with both England and Ireland? Jack Charlton. Jack Charlton. Jackie. Correct answer. Whitley Bay's name was originally Whitley. It changed after confusion with which other northeast seaside? Whitby. Whitby's correct. Really? Where is the Reynolds Arena? Uh, it's somewhere down in a place called <laughs> Darlington. Yeah. Darlington is it's the right answer. Uh, why did Hartlepool's mayoral elections cause a national outrage? Because a monkey got in. <laughs> Fact, isn't it? It's true. Stuart Drummond dressed as Hangus the monkey won. That's correct. Ulverston, Bishop Auckland, North Shields, Hollywood. Who connects them? Um, Eric Bristow. No. Um, Stan. Stan. Stan no. Laurel. I was having a I'm going to give that point to Catboy Steve. Jesus. We're winning by making like that. Letters in post office. How many in? How many letters in Esh post office? There are ten letters in post office. How many letters? None. In? The in post Esh office closed post 12 years ago. No, it's 13. <laughs> how many letters? <laughs> how many letters in Walk post office? None. The Walk post office closed 12 years ago. <laughs> no, it's 14. <laughs> how many letters in Mosley Street, Newcastle oh, post office? I'm bored with this now. You know what I mean? <laughs> None, it's closed. None, it closed in 2003. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that's the end of the oh, round, and at the end of the show, oh. Gavin's won it on nine points to Catboy's eight. Wow. Well, good job. Well, good, my boy. Well played. Well played. <laughs> so, the keys to the city to our winners, and the keys to a big market slapper's knickers to our losers. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Tracy Wilkinson and Mike Elliott for coming to the show. I'm Simon Donald and this sham was the region airs. Good night. <laughs>